Welcome to all. I am Rahul. In this video, we study how to find an equation of a right circular cone. First of all, for going to find in keyword, this question asked me in a SPPU Pune University for first year engineering in May 17. Find the equation of a right circular cone which passes through the point, that means they are given one point on the cone and has its axis along the line means they are given the equation of an axis. So, from this given information, we need to find an equation of an right circular cone. So, first of all, we write the given equation of an axis in a standard format. What is a standard format? So, here we want to remove the 6, minus 3 and 4. So, for that, we divide it by 12. So, dividing by 12 to the each term, we get an equation that is x upon 2 is equal to, remember, we need to make the coefficient of x, y, z as 1. So, here we divide it by minus 12. So, we get x upon minus 2, y upon 4, z upon minus 3. And if you compare this with the standard format, that is x minus alpha upon a is equal to y minus beta upon b is equal to z minus gamma upon c, we get the value of alpha as 0. So, by comparing with this, we get the value of a is minus 2, value of b is 4, value of c is minus 3. And is, there is no any term, so z minus 0 we can write, so value of gamma is 0, similarly beta is 0, and similarly alpha is 0. So we get, coordinate of a vertex R, 0, 0, 0, and DRS of an axis is A, comma B, comma C, is equal to minus 2, 4, minus 3. Now, here we need to find the value of a semi-vertical angle. So, we can draw a rough diagram. From that, we can get a clear idea. They give us the one point on the cone. That is, let's see the B is a point 1, 1, 2 on the cone. Now, uh, we know the coordinate of the vertex that is 0, 0, 0. Now, to find an angle between the axis and this line, we already studied the how to find an cos theta value if we, uh, between the two lines in the prerequisite section. So, for that, we require the DRS of the, both the lines. So, out of this, we have the DRS of the an axis. Now, we need to find an DRS of AB. So, to find an DRS of an AB, it's very simple to take only the subtraction between the coordinates that is 1 minus 0, we get 1, one again 1 minus 0, we get 1, again 2 minus 0, we get 2. So, this is nothing but the DRS of an AB. Now, to find the value of cos theta, we write, suppose this DRS are nothing but A dash, B dash, C dash, so cos theta is equal to A A dash, plus b b dash plus c c dash divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square square root of a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square. So, by substituting the values, we get minus 2 minus 2 into 1 plus 4 into 1 plus minus 3 into 2 divided by square root of minus 2 square plus 4 square plus minus 3 square into divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So, just by simplifying, we get minus 2 plus 4 minus 6 upon square root of 4 plus 16 plus 9 square root of 
1 plus 1 plus 4. So, by simplifying this, we get minus 4 square root of 29 square root of 6. So, this is nothing but value of cos theta. In step number 2, consider any point P with the coordinates x, y, z on cone, we get cos theta is equal to a into x minus alpha plus b into y minus beta plus c into z minus gamma upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square square root of x minus alpha square plus y minus beta square plus z minus gamma square. So, by substituting the given values, we know that the value of cos theta is minus 4 upon square root of 29 square root of 6 is equal to the value of ABC are minus 2, 4 and minus 3 and value of alpha, beta, gamma are 0, 0, 0. So, we get minus 2 x minus 0 plus 4 y minus 0 minus 3 z minus 0. So, divide by square root of minus 2 square plus 4 square plus minus 3 square into square root of x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square plus z minus 0 square. So, here we get minus 4 upon square root of 29 square root of 6. Simplifying, we get minus 2x plus 4y minus 3z upon square root of 4 plus 16 plus 9 square root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, to remove this square root, squaring on both sides, we get 16 upon 29 into 6 is equal to minus 2x plus 4y minus 3z the whole square and this value is nothing but again 29 x square plus y square plus z square. So, out of this, this 29 get cancelled. If you divide 16 and 6 by 2, we get here the 3, here we get 8. Now, we multiply this to this side this denominator to this numerator and this 3 to this. So, by multiplying this, we get 8 x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 3 times minus 2x plus 4y minus 3z the whole square. Now, we already study how to take in square of a plus b plus c in the prerequisite sections. So, by simplifying, we get 8x square plus 8y square plus 8z square is equal to 3 times the square of the first term that is minus 2x square is 4x square plus square of the second term that is 16y square plus square of the third term that is 9z square plus 2 times the first term that is a into b that is 4y plus 2 into a into c that is minus 2x into minus 3z plus 2 into b into c that is 4y into minus 3z. So, by simplifying only the right hand side, we get 3 in bracket 
फोर एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वेर प्लस नाइन जेड स्क्वेर माइनस सिक्सटीन एक्स वाई थ्री टू दिक्स टू दवेल्व दट इज प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स जेड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर वाई जेड ना भी मल्टीप्लाई थ्री आउटसाइड तो वी गेट ट्वेल्व एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर्टी एट वाई स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन जेड स्क्वेर माइनस फोर्टी एट एक्स वाई प्लस थर्टी सिक्स एक्स जेड माइनस सेवेंटी टू वाई जेड Now, if you compare the only x square term, here we have twelve x square, here we have eight x square. So eight x square minus twelve x square, we get minus four x square. Eight y square minus forty eight y square, we get minus forty y square. Eight z square minus twenty seven z square. We get minus nineteen z square, and all the remaining term with the minus sign, we get that is uh, sign gets changes. So we get plus forty eight x y minus thirty six x z plus seventy two y z is equal to zero. So just by multiplying with the negative sign, we get. Required equation of a right circular cone that is 4x square plus 40y square plus 19z square plus sorry minus minus 48xy plus 36xz. Minus seventy two y z is equal to zero is the required equation of a right circular cone. Hope you understand and get the clear knowledge about the right circular cone. Now let's see how to generate a new problem from this. You can add one single line of the statement that the vertex is at origin. You can Right and new question. Because from this equation, we get an idea that vertex is at origin. One more thing: if you replace this equation by x upon minus two is equal to y upon four is equal to z upon minus three, you can write this as again a new question. So likewise, you can generate a different different type of the question once you understand the concept. Let's summarize what you study in this video. First of all, this video, please subscribe, press the bell icon, comment below, and do not forget to like and share with your friends. At the end of this video, I promise you that I will share you the. Some study material. So in the description, I will give you the PDF of this video material and workbook for the practice of this problem. Hope you understand. Thank you. Do your best. Thank you very much.